Hey, good hmm, evening, afternoon, evening. I don't know, it's something, something like that. We're at the lake, and you know, I wasn't, wasn't really planning on doing a lot of filming, but I, you know, I kind of thought, what the heck, why not? I mean, I know some guys that would like me to preserve, preserve a recipe for them uh so i guess by putting it on youtube that's what i'm doing um what we got here is collard greens just from good old kroger collard greens they're drying i washed them stuff but uh we're gonna cook some collard greens tonight so i started cutting some onion up i thought you know what i better we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and document this and fresh off the the muddy feet let's try and get you is it drunk see that or not anyway that's the muddy feet brand bacon that's right um uh, dad and i we try to make, we make a couple batches of bacon a year. And we'll probably, next week or two, you, you might see a video of us, of us doing it. Um, so, but yeah, we like to get our own. We'll pick up some pork bellies at the couple of different local markets. And then uh, we'll season them or, and cure them out. But we'll do like about, about a six day cure and then uh we'll come along smoke it but we won't smoke we'll put it on the smoker we won't smoke it we'll put it on the smoker and then uh once it's off the smoker we'll vacuum pack it or slice it then vacuum pack it just like that we'll make a little label kind of make kind of all funny but we don't know we don't sell it we don't it's, you can't find it on any websites and they like that it's just our own little deal. You know, we'll give it to some friends and stuff and they'll they'll see it and you'll pay attention to the ingredients. There's some little we put a little funny stuff in our ingredients. So yeah, it's fun though. So well, what we're done, I'm gonna chop up some onion right here. And then I'll get the bacon out, I'm gonna chop it out, then we'll get it probably, I don't know, three quarters. Three quarters done before we'll actually add the greens to it. So we'll just kind of cook this up a little bit. We'll use our favorite Creole seasoning. I actually, I had it's been probably a, a few months since I opened the package of our bacon. I I thought it was out. Mom found this dude right here. And she's like, "You don't make greens with this?" I was like, "You bet," because it's just, I mean. I wish y'all could smell that. Hmm. It's, it's really good. It's true, you know, you can go to these other brands of bacon, they'll tell you it's smoked and all that, but I promise you, when you smoke your own bacon, and like I said, it, it smells wonderful. You, you know what you got going on and it's really good. And you talking about make these greens pop? It, it, it will do that also. It's unbelievable. But yeah, that's what we got going on. I thought it had much going on this weekend. Uh, we were planning on decking. We tore all the decking off of, and I'll show you a little video clip here. Well, it's kind of a weak deal. <laughs> well, morning mid morning i guess we uh we got the pontoon boat here i got the deck off of it one of the guys did one of matt's guys did and then so this is what it looks like with that i got this little z purling here and that's what holds it hold the on the plywood and the pontoons all together that's what we got here uh Just kind of eyeballing things, looking things over on this part of it. 
what we're doing now we're going to take us over to a guy here in Okona and we're going to cut this beam out and then these cross beams welded in and this will be one of our holes here and then I'm trying to remember I think then this beam will come out I think I made to consult Madeline I can't remember but anyway we got to have some cross members we're, to take these out we got to have cross members welded back up which is a good one to take out it's all whopper jawed in there anyway so so this will be a hole here and skips and then this will be a hole I think that's right I want to consult Matt with that, but I think that's what that is. And then we're going to talk to the guys who don't do the, the welding and stuff for us, so, you know, about the little cross beams. We want a wider flange beam. That way we can, we want to do hatches instead of, uh, instead of lids that just hinge up. We think we just want to do hatches. And that way, uh, if we're not fishing out of it, we're just, you know, cruising around or whatever, then we'll just have a smooth floor, no hinges no nothing and if we want to fish you just pull the hatch up lean it in the corner or whatever out of the way and then you got a hole to, to fish out of so of, of it being torn off the pontoon boat and then uh we took it to a, a guy there here in town that's going to weld up some bracing for us for the holes we're going to cut out for the crappie holes fishing holes but we want to make them big enough that we can actually uh, put hatches instead of hinged doors on that. So he's welding some bracing in there to support the hatches for us and then cutting that up for us. Um, neither one, Matt or I, are, is very proficient at welding aluminum, much less have a, a machine that will do it. So. He's got the boat, the pontoon boat right now, and he's working on that. So once that's done, then we're gonna redeck the boat. Tammy, which I was mentioned in the past, she does upholstery work and and all that stuff. So she's, I mean, I'm telling you guys, awesome at what she does. Uh, she's gonna put carpet on the boat for us. And then um, once that's done, we're going to put the house back on it and then take it to the motor guy. So we were hoping to have it back this weekend and then redeck it this weekend and then let Tammy have it. But we got put off by a day or two. So hopefully Monday or Tuesday that'll happen. So that was kind of what I was hoping the video would be about today. But it didn't work out that way. So we're going to cook some greens at the lake. So all right. We're going to get this on the burner. And then I'll kick y'all back on in a minute. Well, we got our greens on, or our greens. Got our bacon and onion mixture on. We're gonna be letting that cook a little bit on a medium flame. And get that cooked down real good. And Alex said, I'm not gonna cook it down to a crisp. I'm gonna get about three quarters away cooked down and then we'll, we'll add our, look, matter of fact, we'll add some brown sugar in and then maybe some Creole seasoning. And then we'll add, then let that mix up a little bit, then we'll add our greens and then let the greens cook down. So we'll give that a little bit. Yeah, there's our, the copper tone building. We set it back up here on some blocks. I don't know if y'all been inside yet. I don't think y'all have. So that's what we got. Got our doors. So, need to get in here and get some stuff taped up, and probably start running a little bit of electrical wiring and stuff. We're going, we'll be a 12 volt system is what we're planning on. So, it won't be a lot. We'll probably have some few lights in here and some things like that. But, yep. Hopefully, it won't be long. We'll have a permanent home when it's. Of course, they're armadillo. That dude. He's got a makeover coming, and it's going to be something else. I can't wait for that one. 
so okay we're gonna uh, go get the let's go cut the greens up a little bit and see how this is doing Back well, this is kind of loud, but we got a SOT Metalworks mic. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of how we approach this. A lot of this, and you know what? Turn it down. Turn down. Mike with Dirt Perfect and SOT Metalworks. We got Junior. It looks like Jason works a lot, but yeah, they're doing a live podcast. That's pretty cool. We're talking about. All kinds of stuff. We got our greens going right here. I tell you what, this is awesome. Sit out here at the lake. Awesome weather. Cooking and getting to watch their podcast. That's that's kick ass. So, all right, we got our brown sugar in there. Got a little oil built up, which is just flavor. It's going to go away when we get these greens in here. We're fixing to put the greens in right now. So let's get the greens in. Ten. Hey, we can order another jack. Yeah, that'd be really confusing, but we could do it. Man, I don't know if I can keep my mouth shut that long. Now there are people to talk. Now I noticed here that uh, after Jason's got a lot of meat, but it'll be fine. Yeah. Well, after four, I just about got two so big of a pot. Six, seven, eight, nine, That's fine. Oh, we got to pair them wisely, otherwise I can only use both of them. <laughs> They'll cook down. I got a bad feeling that Wade's going to be Matter of fact, when they yeah. cook down, you're like, hey, damn, I could have put Wade more in there. Wade definitely could be on his own. Came on his own first. Own Wade was great because he would be sitting here talking and all of a sudden realized he was supposed to get the mic from his all over up like this. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun to watch because Jason yeah. be over there and yeah. turn it down. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm just now kind of <laughs> got on. I didn't know they were doing a podcast already. One more podcast that's going to come out. The volume may be a little bit questionable on. Yeah. That's... But after that, we should have uh, some pretty improved volume. Maybe it's just so a live on their podcast. They may not be doing a podcast. They may just be live on there. In the next month or so. yeah, Let's say hi to them. See what happens. After all this before turkey. Let's see what happens. Let's say hi. I mean, it's it, there's not a lot of information out on it either. That's the problem. Um, um, there's a lot of companies out there that you can pay to tell you that information. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, if a guy just wants to set up a podcast, it's a little difficult. If I, if uh, our approach to this um, was, it's free to put it on YouTube, mm -hmm. and potentially you can get it monetized on YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, with these streaming services, it's pretty much the opposite. It, it costs money to, to post it, it and money. it's very very difficult to actually get monetized or have any type of return from it. Right. So our thing was try it on YouTube for free. Yeah, to, see if there's even any interest in it. Yeah, if it takes off, we'll start putting it over to. I put, hey guys, awesome to y'all be cooking okay. and okay. listen to y'all talk. You just don't necessarily have to have people do it. They may see it, they may not. Who knows? No, yeah. It's like logger. We got right under the logger way. Look at that. Hey, buddy, feet concrete. He didn't make it up there. Hey, so um, one thing. No, like yeah. That. Videos it's pretty cool to be able to talk to those guys and stuff. So, yeah, we got some exciting stuff coming up with those guys. Uh, I'm not going to elaborate too in depth with it, but we do have some stuff. We've been talking and uh, going to going to put some stuff together with them. So. It's more related to the concrete pumping side or the concrete pumping channel, but uh, but anyway, I mean, you know, when that comes out, you'll be able to, you know, hop over to the Muddy Feet Concrete Pumping and see what we get going on with those guys. Very excited to be able to do some uh, collaborating with those folks. Super nice people, so I'm really excited about that. But all right, we got our greens in here. They're going to be starting to wilt down just a little bit. My table's yeah, a little bit higher than like what it needs to be. You can be monetized on YouTube, and I like to support these people if I can. So I'll give them my watch on, on YouTube. Yeah, because we, uh, obviously, somebody may know out there better than us. We know we can make a little bit of money off this through YouTube. I mean, that's not our goal is to make money off this, but we yeah. got to justify our time a little bit. But I think the biggest excuse. And the only way that you can potentially do is get some kind of bacon and stuff from, from what I've seen is you have to have over 10,000 people I'm using the moisture from the grains. 
and I don't breaking think that's that loose and that's, that's just pure flavor down there. Just, um, but you know, again, uh, the way that works up. is if I can upload this from this is how I've learned so far. If I can upload this to the Start Apple Podcast service and they host it. I can bridge that over to all the other podcasting services, and that doesn't cost me anything. I'm only paying Apple to host it. Whereas with the way it, we're set up now, I mean, it goes to YouTube for free. YouTube puts it on YouTube, and everybody can go watch it for free. Yeah, you guys get to listen to it and yeah. do whatever you want to with it. Well, I mean, this is just like a learning curve, it's just like YouTube. You know, what editing software you want to use, what, you know, how, how should I shoot my videos, how should I do this, how should I do that. So it's, it's going to be a learning curve for a little while. You guys are going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, and so far the response has been pretty good. I mean, everybody seems to enjoy it, and uh, our goal is to try to do one a week. I don't know; we'll do our best to maintain that. It, yeah, uh, we have a, we have got a long list of that to record. Ah, now we got them worked down half the volume now, so it's, it's going to be really good. Okay, we'll let them cook a little bit. I'll hold them back up. Okay. Well, we got them done. They simmered for a little bit. I let them simmer for about a... Once I got everything added, I let them simmer on medium heat for about an hour or so. So, we'll get down here and get things. Let y'all take a look at what they look. Look at that thing right there. But, yeah, that's a good looking pie. But, let's... Here's our greens right here. Well, they're all cooked down nice and still a little leafy, but yeah. That's what we got there. A little barbecue sauce, a little dirty rice. Homemade dirty rice, not the box kind. One day we'll do a video on, 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 on the dirty rice. And then we got our chicken leg quarters right there, so. All right. Well, thank y'all for watching. We'll, uh, you have any comments or questions? <laughs> Their daughter. Yeah. Where are you going? Or, I don't follow a recipe. I'm sorry. But if you leave a comment and you need to know something, I'll give you my best guesstimation. But I just, I just don't, I just don't follow a recipe. I just throw it all in there and go off experience and everything else. So, but anyway. All right, we'll talk to you later. Thank you.